Hi friends, today we will learn shell doubling and the preparations. Let us have a look at the drawing of the tank. Generally, we will say, this is a skirt-supported vertical vessel. What is SLS3? This is the short form for skirt long seam. This is a well joint number. What is this? This is skirt surcing 2. Let us go to the subject. Before starting, shell to shell fit up or shell to dish and fit up, it is very important to check the nozzle orientation, location of the lifting lugs, RF pad edge to the adjacent weld distance etc. These are the two shells, we are going to double now. Check what is the joint number, and its orientation degree. LS1 and LS2. Let us check the orientation of these two joints. This is the nozzle orientation plan. Look for LS1 and its orientation. LS1 is on 235 degree. And LS2 is on 65 degree. Check the vessel diameter and the shell thickness. The vessel ID is 3150 mm and the thickness is 14 mm. Calculate the OD of the vessel. ID plus 2 thickness is equal to 3178 mm. Note down this dimension. Outer circumference of the shell equals OD into 3.142 equals 3178 multiplied by 3.142 equals 9985 mm. Check the actual circumference of the shell on both ends. Assume both actual and real circumference are equal. Now, mark the center line of the shell. There are many methods to mark the center line. Here we'll take the center of the welding as the center of the shell. Draw a line exactly on the center of the weld joint. We have marked the 65 degrees. Let us mark the 235 degrees on the shell. Hope you all know how to calculate the circumferential length of a degree. If you don't know, don't worry, it is simple. Divide the outer circumference by 360, you will get the length of 1 degree. Here, 9985 divided by 360 is equal to 27.376. Means, 1 degree is equal to 27.376 millimeters. We have already marked the 65 degree. We will mark 235 degree from this line. How far is 235 degree from 65 degree? 235 minus 65 is equal to 170. What is the circumferential length of 170 degree? Multiply 27.376 by 170 equals 4,654 millimeters. Use a flexible measuring tape and mark this distance, circumferentially as shown. Make sure the marking is done clockwise. Assume you are standing on the top side of the shell and do the marking. Because, in the drawing, the joint orientation is shown, looking down on the shell. Draw a line and label it as 235 degree. Follow the same method and mark the weld seam center line on cell number 1 and label it as LS1. Put both the shells on the roller. Align LS1 and the 235 degree line.
Confirm, both shells are on the same level. Tack weld four pairs of puller cleats on the joint as shown. Insert gap rod in the joint, as many as required. Tack weld C cleats and drive the wedges to maintain the level of the joint. First, tack weld on the 0, 90, 180, and 270 quarters, and then tack weld, wherever required. If you tack weld continuously, both the shell plates will come closer, and the root gap will not be uniform. Thank you for watching.